So I'm pretty sure y'all saw Ready Love, Ready Love, Really Love on Netflix. It premiered like a few days ago or a week ago with um, the ultra fine Kofi Syrabi. I think that's how you say his last name. Uh, you had um, Michael Ely was in it. So um, a lot of people are comparing this to Love Jones. I personally didn't care for Love Jones. Uh, the last time I saw it, I think I was, I don't know, I was a kid and it was like bits and pieces. Maybe because I saw it through a kid's eye and didn't really understand that type of stuff at the time. Maybe I'll give another try, but it just wasn't my thing from what I remember. Uh, really Love is, to me, you have to watch it with like an artistic type lens. Like the shots are beautiful, the colors, of course, the actors and actresses, the music was nice. It was very visual, but the plot to me was kind of predictable. You know, she, he, um, he wanted to, she was going to go away for another job and you know, he told her just go ahead and go, but she wanted to stay with him. You know, it's it's like we've kind of seen that before. But, you know, when it comes to film, I mean, you're going to see um, ideas kind of, you know, come 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 up back and forth. Um, maybe I'm spoiled with plot twists now, so I'm expecting something like crazy to happen. Uh, one thing that was throwing me off at first was, you know, he was like this struggling artist, like literally. And she, you know, paid for the gas one time. She was kind of like helping him out. I'm like, oh man, we doing a struggle love thing again, y'all. But, you know, he became an artist. He followed his dreams. So, I mean, I don't really know to to tell people like follow your dream. Because everybody's not going to be a big famous artist. Uh, everybody's not going to be this big famous rapper that they want to be. So, um, but you know, I think one of the things that I would say just from living life, if you, cause I'm an artist, I write, um, trying to get into directing film, wrote a screenplay, working on something right now. You still have to pay bills. You still have to work. You still have to provide for yourself. You shouldn't have to lean on people, your friends and family to, take care of you. I've needed help before plenty of times. I'm not going to sit here and act like I did, haven't. But um, in the movie, he was like refusing to get a job and only wanted to paint. And I don't want to say it was an unrealistic, unrealistic ending that he, he uh, became, you know, made profit off of a painter. I'm just saying for the young people watching it, don't think that's going to be your future because it might not be. This was a romantic film and everything uh like i said nice shots uh not a lot with the plot but sometimes like i said that's one of those movies you have to just look at it there's a movie that i saw back in 2015 or 16 called memphis right and that's how that movie is there's this is one movie that I have seen where it has absolutely no plot. It is literally a bunch of scenes thrown into three acts that none of the scenes have nothing to do with each other. You can like literally put Mitch match the scenes anywhere in a movie and it wouldn't make a difference. That movie's called Memphis. That's how that was. But just like love, love always no, I keep forgetting the name of the movie love actually love always <laughs> really love <laughs> sorry it's a long night I just came back in from working just like really love Memphis is like that you have to just oh it's nice like it showed the uh, there's these trees that uh Memphis is known for they like I forgot what they're called they're like droop trees they the leaves droop down and it looks like real romantic reminiscent of the south they showed a lot, you know, so that's how really love was or is for me. Uh, it's not something I'll probably watch a whole lot unless I'm just trying to see Kofi because, I mean, he cute. I mean, that's pretty much. And they knew what they were doing when they when they hired Kofi. Don't mind me being in the bathroom. Try to get some better light. Like, if I don't make my movies, I'm sorry. If I don't make my, my post during the day when I have natural light, I'm usually in my room and it's kind of like, I don't know. So I figure, okay, I'll give you a little backdrop, black checkers. 
squares, whatever for you. So, yeah, there was a lot of hype around really love, you know, but I say support. I mean, you got Netflix shoot. You're already paying your little $13 a month. Go ahead and watch it and see what it is. All right. Uh, I also saw Don't Breathe, the first one on demand a few days ago. That was good. Dude did something in it that turned me off because at first I was on his side. Like they broke into your house. Yeah, you know, mess them up. It's your house. You have every right to defend yourself, but... There was a scene, and I don't want to spoil it for anybody, even though it's been out a few years, because Don't Breathe 2 just came out Friday, which that's going to be next on my list of on things to watch that one. Uh, but yeah, that was good. But I was like, ew, he's that was gross. That was pervert, perv type behavior. Whew. It's Labor Day weekend, and I hope everybody enjoys themselves. Uh, Labor Day is tomorrow. Hopefully, everybody is is cool. I know we're still trying to uh, do things wrapped around this uh, COVID thing that we have going on, and it's just so much, uh, so much. I don't want to say too much in the video because I, I, you know, I don't want like any disclaimers popping up because this that, that this video isn't about that. We're talking about really love and movies and whatnot but anyway i'm gonna get on out of here y'all like share subscribe please and as always peace and blessings